guys, welcome back. Modi 101 here, and I'm here with Heather Renee B. Hey guys. And Psychic. Hey guys. And we are back in for going. Pick it up. Pretty much where we left off, except for Zykik made a tower. I did. <laughs> Look at that. I had to tear it down like three times, but I got it. Spooky. <clears throat> Spooky. Spooky. I like the colors. I do right, too. It took see. a while to figure out that the blue terracotta was more purple than the purple terracotta. Yeah, the terracottas are weird. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. But I got it. I'm happy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up breaking my leg in one of these. <laughs> And this just basically goes up to tower. Nice. I can see out. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't know the mod at all, so I have no idea how much room you need, but it looks really good. Uh, it's literally just the two blocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I try not to make it too huge, but I couldn't help it. Well, then you know what? Overkill. No. So I am having the damnedest time what? trying to get good ore processing for this thing. I thought main... you had it figured out. Oh, so did I. Now, there's a weird glitch with this with this powered furnace where, like, I can't see what's in it. Okay. There, there's stuff in there, but I can't see it. And then it, it just weirdly gets clogged up. Hmm. And I think it has something to do with these laser relays. The problem is, is that there's, you know... I don't know. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to work on making a, I, I guess it would be a blacksmith, more of a foundry. Okay. Because now have you guys, and, and I think it's Ow. in here. Let me, let me look uh, at tinkers. So we've done tinkers a billion times, right? Mm -hmm. But they yes. actually have, um, other parts, other multi-block structures, and I don't know which ones you guys have seen, because they have the smeltery, which we obviously know. Um, they have a f seared furnace, okay. which is basically a giant tinker's furnace. Okay. So you could cook meat in it, or potatoes, or whatever you want. Anything a <coughs> furnace can do, it can do. Um... And it has, uh, so yeah, but it's a big multi-block thing. Obviously, the bigger you make it, just like the, the smeltery, the more items it can do at a time. But it, like, cooks meat really fast. Anyways, and then there's actually a Tinker's yeah. Tank. Well, don't do that, honey. There's actually a Tinker's Tank, which is kind of nice for, and, you know, a lot of people probably already know about this. But the nice thing about the Tinker's Tank is, is that, you know how when you, you know, I'm always scared to automate uh, uh, smeltery because the minute copper gets in there it'll just make make a bunch of crap I don't want yeah yeah you know it'll make I'll be like oh great I've got 28 blocks of aluminum brass wonderful so what the tinkers tank does is you can it doesn't melt anything but if you put liquids in it they don't mix so you could technically so what I want to try and do is you know, I don't want to call it a blacksmith as much as like a foundry so that it will, I can melt stuff down and it'll go into the tinker's tank and then I can pour it out from there and then maybe I can figure out a way to get these ores and just go into the tinker's tank type situation. Okay. So, so I'm going to mess with that, but I'm going to need a butt ton of seared brick to do so. I'm getting more open. I I did that. So I like that the skeletons run away from from dogs. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I wonder if the uh, what should I call it? The why is this so slow? Oh, only a few. I wonder yeah. if the um, creepers run away from. Well, I know that in vanilla, creepers run away from cats. Yeah. Yes. But I didn't. I didn't realize that skeletons actually run away from because the skeleton was coming towards me. But I have one of the, my dogs with me, and as soon as the skeleton realized that I had a dog with me, he turned around and ran the other way. He was just like, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> sorry. 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 No, no, sorry, we're, we're bad, cool. We're cool. We're cool. Why are you freaking out? We're cool. <clears throat> nice. Now, if we could just teach your dog to stop chasing the cat, that'd be great. 
Because he's going to get his butt kicked. Okay, the cat starts it most of the time. Oh, mm -hmm. sure. Blame it on the cat. You going to tell me any different? The tiny little cat standing there, and then all of a sudden, just Floppasaurus Rex comes flying around the corner. He, the cat who's a butthole to everybody, including you? Um, I'm a butthole to everybody, including me. You you keep me around. <laughs> Why are you on the cat's side all of a sudden? I'm not on the cat's side. I'm just pointing out that your giant floppy dog is very intimidating. I swear he has eight limbs. <laughs> <laughs> Octo dog. <laughs> <coughs> that sounds like a dog that had eight kids <laughs> and then got a reality show. Do you remember Octo Mom? That was a thing. Yeah, uh, something popped up on my YouTube that was like, Octo Mom's kids are turning 10. And, it's like, and she still can't walk, or whatever the story was. <laughs> Could you imagine having just eight babies? No. Could you imagine having one baby? Ooh. No. Oh, God. Seems off. I'm too old for that. Oh, yeah. I like I like that you went full Danny Glover on me. Mm -hmm. Getting too, too old, old for this crap. Ow. Safe. What are you doing? Getting wood. <laughs> In hell? What? Apparently. <laughs> Jeez, woman. Anyways. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I'm gonna want to. What's our stone look like? It's flat and it's gray. Shut up. All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Make up a couple stacks of this stuff. All right, I'm thinking right out here. All right, so I don't want to make any of these things huge. Ooge. Why not? Because that just seems like overkill. Because I'm not, I, I, you know, you know I'm a very modest, kind of just subtle person. Sure you are. You know, just very, not a lot of excess, just, you know. Uh-huh. I'm just a, I'm just, you know, I've always thought of myself very much as kind of just a meat and patoties kind of guy. You know what I'm sure. saying? Very, very salt of the earth. Yeah. I'm like a farmer. <laughs> Are you now? Yeah. I'm I'm very why was that funny? No, I'm just telling you. Like I'm I'm like imagine like Imagine if a country song was fat. Like that's <laughs> was what? Fat. <sighs> fat. No. That's not right, no. I know, I don't like country either. Oh, no, that's not. <laughs> oh my uh, god. What are we talking about? <sighs> Honey, I'm not oh gonna make god. you listen to country. Cold. You should calm down. I don't see what the. Dog, get off of here. <laughs> Seriously. Now, if anybody knows Heather, they know that the only music she likes is hardcore rap. Hardcore. <laughs> no. Hardcore. Thug rap. No. That's it. Yep. That's all she likes. That's not true. Yep. Just. I mean, it, it was cute at first, but I'm going to tell you after, you know, like four years being together when I'm like, all right, honey, I'm going to bed. Good night. Love you. And she's like, Wu-Tang! And it's like, all right, calm down. <laughs> calm down there, red man. That, all right? Okay. That, that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend the next year of my life convincing anybody who watches our stuff that anytime I say I love you, all you do is just scream Wu-Tang and walk out of the Why? room. Why? Why? No. <sighs> oh, oh, that's a good time. That's a good that's time. So mean. That's a good time, kids. No. Anyway, so Heather loves Wu-Tang. No, uh, I don't. Um, she was actually in Wu Tang. No, I was not. I mean, honey, for a certain point in the early two thousands, everybody was in Wu Tang, so that's really not no. a big deal. So, I mean, it was it was kind of like it was kind of like you know, it was like being drafted during World War Two. It was just everybody had to do their part. Their port. Everyone had to <laughs> do their port. <laughs> If everybody could band together and join Wu-Tang and just do your port is all we're asking. 
No. <laughs> Bright idea was it for me to have a job where I talk? That seems dumb. <laughs> Yours. That seems, no, I, I, I feel that there. I feel like I was coerced into somehow. No. So. Just sitting here, minding my own business. The next thing you know, hey, talking to this, it'll be funny. Okay. Talking to this. <laughs> Anyways, Heather loves Wu Tang. No. Yeah. She was big into like the Ghetto Boys. No, I, I don't even know who that is. Like, like Easy E's, like Bushwick Bill, and like who? Easy E's later stuff. Oh God, I love the fact that I cannot remember any of our kids' names when I need to yell at them. But don't <laughs> worry, I've got Bushwick Bill in the back of my head, I ready to go. I don't know what go. that is. He, that he, sounds like a yeah. Disney ride or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, man. I am making a new amusement park in Compton. Oh, man. Bushwick it's like Bill. the Jamboree Bears or whatever. <laughs> no, you're thinking about... No, Liz, yes. The Jamboree Bears. Yep. Uh, hello, kids. Welcome. Here we go. Two, three, four. Smack that hoe up. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey. What? I'm just I'm <laughs> quoting the song from the amusement park. No. <laughs> I didn't write that. <laughs> that was from the Bushwick Bears. <laughs> what the hell were we talking about? I don't, I don't know. know. That's, that's probably for the best. That's probably for the best. Uh, um. Oh yeah, you love Wu Tang. That's right. No, I don't. Okay. Are you saying you hate Wu Tang? I don't even know. I don't <laughs> listen to them. <laughs> My headache's back. Yay. Um, I'm just telling you, it's every Ow. single time. It'll be like, I love you, honey. Wu Tang! Like, it's like, no. honey, stop it. Stop it. Look like that you stood up. I did, and that. I stepped away a little bit because. <laughs> Because I said that you walk out of the room anytime you say it. So. <laughs> Anyways, I just Make like to think. I, I just like to think. I just like to think that like. Make the, it stop. The, 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 the Bushwick Bill Wikipedia just took a very <laughs> small but noticeable uptick. Uh, oh, we fell from a high place. No. I'm trying to think of other like crappy like. 90s gangster rap stuff. Heather would be Why? <laughs> and you so were into punk rock skateboarding stuff then. Why do you know all this rapper? You were in junior high. I was. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Depends on which year you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I get a feeling a lot of. I, th I think the ones at the beginning, you were in elementary school. Probably. Oh my god. He. <sighs> I'm a lot younger than him. <laughs> Not a lot. Calm down. <laughs> um, I graduated high school in 2001. What were you doing? I just had my second Raising kid. two kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was a single mother at the time. <laughs> just trying to make ends meet. I don't know why you're laughing at me. I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> Anyways. It's like, it's like, I was born in 2000. Shut up, Zyke. I was born in 99. Oh, yes. Yeah, what month of 99? December. You were born in 2000, okay? No. Don't give me this, I was born in 99 garbage, okay? I stand by my... She's like, ah, oh, I was so much a 90s kid. Yeah, for about three weeks. Calm down. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, garbage pail kids. You were an infant. <laughs> what day is your birthday on? 16th. The 16th. Two weeks. You yes. were alive for two weeks in the 90s. I have no idea what I'm doing.
think Bookshark Bill's dead. I think he might have died before Zyke was even born. I don't even know who that is. He was an angry little rapping little person. I'm not joking. Okay. You're weird. Two Live Crew? She loves Two Live Crew. I don't... Who? Okay, hold on. Shut up. I'm not even joking anymore. Are you telling me you don't know who Two Live Crew is? No. The same group that brought us the masterpiece, Me So Horny. <laughs> oh my god. No. No, like, okay, all right. I know we're making a video, but like joking aside, like seriously. Yeah, no. What about you, 90s kid? Any idea who Two Live Crew is? Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the rest of the video is just I'm silence. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, you know, just, just make your stuff. I'm, I'm fine. What? Oh, me so horny? That means nothing to you? No. No. <laughs> Why is he huffing? I don't know. I'm so sad. Why? Because they were, like, all over the news, and there was all kinds of... All over the news for what? They had a song called Me So Horny, and you're going to ask me what they were on the news for? <laughs> that! <laughs> that is what they were on the news for! <laughs> you know how when you get... Well, okay. It's like you may not remember this. Honey, do you remember way back in the day when you would go buy a thing called a CD, a compact disc? Yeah. And they would have that little that little thing on here, been like, there's naughty words in this. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of that had to do with two live crew. Okay. I thought that had to do them and them. <sighs> what? <laughs> I know Green Day's albums ended up having to have those on them. What time is it? Oh, God. <laughs> I know Green Day's albums had to be on there. Yeah, well, because uh, my stepmom and my dad got in this huge argument because I wanted a couple of the Green Day albums, and she didn't like that they had the little parental advisory thing on there, and he didn't care, and they got in this huge big argument. I ended up getting them, but that's another <laughs> story. <laughs> Are you though? I don't know. <laughs> Bushwick Bill, the Ghetto Boys, that I get. That I understand. But two live crew. <sighs> and you call yourself a Wu Tang fan. I'm not a Wu Tang fan. <sighs> I can I can just see it right now. Right now. Ghostface Killer is so Who? disappointing. Red Man. I know that one. He's a he's an actor. <laughs> he was in Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> and then other men are actors. They're both in Wu Tang too. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like Ice Cube in that movie uh, Are We There Yet? Him. Of course you do. <laughs> he was in the remake of 21 Jump Street. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Does Boys in the Hood mean anything to you? John Singer? Will Smith? <laughs> Monkey, take your crap and move it. <laughs> I did.
take that as a no. No. Easy. What's the one with Will Smith? And what's his face? That was a Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> that was a movie. <laughs> that was a movie. What was it about? I don't know. I never saw it. Obviously. Guys in a hood. Okay, I'm going to admit, it just sounded like you tried to weirdly describe a clan movie, so let's not go there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Boys in the Hood is not a clan movie. Okay. Oh. I didn't say it was. Bad Boys, maybe that's it? Is that it? With Martin Lawrence, the buddy cop movie? Is that a cop movie? <laughs> it said Bad Boys, and it had them in a car on the front. <laughs> I never saw it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. I have a feeling I'm gonna get yelled at after. If you want to come join me and the kids, <laughs> hang out in the Discord and talk about like oldies like Green Day. <laughs> I didn't say it was old. I just said that was one of the. Oh, it ones. is, hun. It is old. Anyways, and uh, yeah, if you guys want to come chit chat with us, play on our servers, help me pick up the pieces that is my life, that type of stuff. You can do that by becoming a Patreon. Go check out the Patreon link down below. It has all the information on how you can join us. And. Uh, if you guys want to uh, get your very own server, just like the ones we're using here. God, I'm so tired. Uh, you know, go check out Host Havoc. Use the link down below. That way they know that you're coming from one of our videos. And until the next episode, on behalf of myself, Zykik, and of course Heather, we just want to say, Wu Tang. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. That's my new outro. <laughs>